I'll talk about uh, maximum optimization of cataract surgery with an overview of my key FACO technologies. I have no financial interest in any device I'll talk about during this presentation. And my history with Wortley began in 2009 with a Cataract 2. And this picture reflects what I feel about the, the equipment, the, the brand. And if there is a word that I could tell uh, why I use this machine, this trust. So I trust uh, in my machines, especially in my difficult cases. Uh, it's a reliable machine, are reliable machines. And so I can use it very confidently in my, even my difficult cases. These are my personal settings. I today rarely use the, uh, the stop and chop. For stop and chop, I use linear ultrasound with a 50% power, a flow rate of 20 and vacuum of 70. For majority of cases, I use a uh, FACO chop or pre-chop with a pulse or burst in case of hard cataracts with an ultrasound of 50%, flow rate of 48, and vacuum of 40, 480. And for irrigation aspiration, flow rate of 40, and vacuum of 40, 480. This paper published in 2019, tried to make an optimization of the, the, the settings of cataract tree. And the results are ultrasound of 80%, flow rate of 50, and vacuum of 600. It's, it's a lot of, of, of power here. There is no need of th those very high parameters. As I, I showed in the previous slide, you can have a very reliable and safe procedure with much, much lower, lower parameters. Uh, maybe the, the main advantage of the technology is the easy FACO that provides a very stable interior chamber. The FACO handpiece with a six piezoelectric chrysos and the linear post and burst mode. Uh, recently, I actually launched the speed pump. That's, uh, it's a combination of speed and precision with two pumps. The peristaltic pump for the flow and the venturi pump for the vacuum. So you can have total vacuum and, con and flow control with the foot pedal, even under inclusion, and a very, a very good fluidity control. The easy FACO technology is related to the, to the FACO needle. There is a narrowing of the FACO needle at the tip. Uh, and this tip design um, increases the fragment attraction, uh, provides a strong holdability, uh, and you can have the, the ultrasound energy absorbed by occluded fragment. And after the break, the occlusion break, uh, the fragments are expirated without clogging. And most importantly, a very, very stable interior chamber. There are several tips available. I personally use the 2.2 tip with a 30 degrees angulation. Uh, another advantage of the equipment is the cassette that can be of single use or reusable, autoclavable. Today, you are thinking even more and more in reducing waste production to make our surgery greener. So the fact of having a reusable cassette is very important. And also you can have full control of settings with the foot pedal. So there is no need of the nurse to help us on this change of settings. This is very important as well. And also a, different, a, a, a new, something new for the Catrex 3 comparing with the Catrex 2 is the the vitrectomy uh, is available now at the front of the equipment. In the cataracts, too, it was in the side. And besides, you have the same probes from the cataracts 3 and for the Faros and OS4. I will, show, I will show some case just to illustrate the surgery itself. Here you have a very regular case, a cataract, a nuclear cataract grade 2. So I I use a pre-chop in the majority of my cases. So here, if you emulsify at the very center of the pupil, at the iris plane, you can see a very strong holdability of fragments, a very fast procedure, safe procedure. And 
some doctors prefer to, re to remove the epinucleus. For epinucleus removal, to use the INA. But I trust the equipment that I can, in some cases, in the majority of cases, use my fake needle to proceed with epinucleus removal. As you can see here, it's extremely safe because of the stability of the anterior chamber. Another regular case, uh, a grade two nuclear cataract, so hydrodissection, and the quadrant, the first crack with the Akahoshi pre-chopper, and then the second crack. Now I have four pieces of nucleus, and using a blunt chopper, I can go behind the first quadrant very safely to, to present to the, my fecal needle and then to get some room to emulsify the other three quadrants. After getting, getting some room, uh, the surgery is done. So it's, now it's quite easily. Some special case for soft cataracts. The, the risk here is to create a ball because the cataract is soft. So in a very reproducible manner, I make the first crack, the second crack, and with this blunt chopper presented the fragment to my fecal needle at the very center of the pupil. And now you get some room and to continue the, the fake emulsification. For the heart cataracts, that is relatively common in my, in my practice. I could do here a faker chop or a quick chop. So I impale the lens. And here I'm using, I can use burrs in very dense cataracts or, or posts. And you see here a very strong holdability of the fragments. This is important, especially in those cases. For the white cataracts, you can have uh, soft white cataracts and hard white cataracts. For the soft white cataracts, you have to be aware of the Argentinian flight flag sign. In those cases, I prefer not to hydro dissect. I just move uh, the lens inside the bag with a blunt chopper. You can easily rotate it and then impale with the fake needle. And with a horizontal chop, you get the first crack. Again, impale to get the second crack. And then the first quadrant can be removed and the surgery proceeds very safely. The anterior chamber is extremely stable. You cannot, you usually don't see any uh, significant variation of the anterior chamber death. Uh, this is a challenging case because it's a patient with a small pupil, uh, relatively soft cataract. I know many, many surgeons would advise here, oh, you should use a Maliogin ring or iris retractors. But I trust in the equipment. I trust that I can do it without it. Uh, so I get some cracks with the pre-chopper and then I can safely emulsify at the center or a little bit closer to the pupil border, to the capsular X border, but slowly I can emulsify this soft nucleus very safely, as you can see here. And even the epinucleus removal can be done here with the fake needle safely as, as shown here. Another uh, advantage of earthly machines is the availability of the high frequency capsulotomy that is based on uh, bipolar diatomy that is used for, for small pupil case, white cataract, pediatric cataract, in case of radial tear on capsular axis and capsular phimosis. I show a, a regular case here. I'm marking the cornea with a five millimeter capsular axis uh, marker. And this is the capsulotomy tip. Uh, you should just 
slide it uh, over the anterior capsule, following the marking in the cornea. So it's not a capsulorex, it's a capsulotomy. And then I, I just, it's not a free, free float capsulotomy, I have to remove it. So I'm using my ultrata forceps to remove. And now you have a full 360 degree capsulotomy. I show another case of the high frequency capsulotomy. Uh, in this case, as you may see, as you can see, there is an incomplete capsulotomy here. So I go back and slide over the capsule to get a full 360 degree capsulotomy. And in this case, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to use my, my Yotrata forceps. With the tip itself, I can uh, complete the capsulotomy. Uh, a concern here would be the, the strength of the capsulotomy. So I can proceed with the hydrodissection without any fear of, of tearing the capsulotomy. As I show here, I'm doing my hydrodissection. And now the fake emulsification to shorten the video is done. I will just polish the posterior capsule doing a viscodissection to remove some opacities on the posterior capsule. And then I'll implant a lens. Uh, I implant a plate type lens. Here, uh, it's not going to be fully in the capsular bag to show that there is some stretching on the capsule, on the capsulotomy. And even after this stretching, uh, the there is a complete capsulotomy, 360 degree, a, a very, uh, a, a very centered and round capsulotomy. In conclusion, uh, those are compact equipments, portable. Uh, they are very effective. They provide a very effective fecomusification with a stable interior chamber, crystal clear corners on day one. Autoclavable cassettes are important. Uh, for some practice to reduce the cost of surgery and also very important for uh, provide less waste generation, provide a greener surgery, a more, a more sustainable surgery and with a Swiss standard of quality. Thank you.